Hello everyone, welcome to the Laughing Narwhal. My name is Eva and we are playing To the Moon today. So we left off at the lighthouse over here. Uh, we were traveling through the memories and we we're trying to find an item to do a memory jump instead of small, or, or leap, I think, instead of little hops. So yeah, let's talk to the memory of River E. Wiles. Okay. Oh, was that the tombstone I just touched? Stuffed toy platypus. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. Oh, the lighthouse door's open. That's not freaky at all. The world's not big enough for two of you. Also, I just recorded Undertale before this, so <laughs> I'm kind of stuck in my little Metaton show guy announcer voice. Yeah. Yeah. What's the flip that was? I can talk to. Okay, cool. It's fine. It's finished, River. Ooh, frame rate just dropped. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stayed true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. But when I'm gone, who's going to watch over us? drop my mood down a couple levels. It's such a strange, it's a distinct jump from playing a quirky, crazy Undertale to really meaningful and sad, sad to the moon. Receive note, Anya. I'm go through these notes. Clock. The clocks in Johnny's house never tick. Objective. The moon in Johnny's memory is full. Someone Johnny and River cared for. Okay. Alright, she goes up by herself. Cool. About time you got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge! Dinosauric! Huh. This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. Fuck you too, Neil. Okay. Talk to this platypus, I guess? Okay. Oh, that's the memory. This lighthouse lamp. What am I missing? Um. Interesting. Okay. Boop. Okay. Clicky, prepare. Okie dokie dokie. Ideal shows the minimum of number the minimum number of moves the meta can be completed in. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's three, right? Uh I know it. I'm gonna flip this. Right? Yes, yes. Woo! I am a genius. I'm so smart. Yay! Activate! No! Yeah, 
I apologize if my mood does not match this game. <laughs> I'm still in Undertale mode. Ugh. Trying to break out of it. Just enough. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it, so don't you worry. Why lie? That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... This is just too much. I mean, she... She isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. Sorry, I moved the mouse. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. I think I'm talking too quietly. Sorry. Move this mic up again. What about you? Happy. I'll be happy. others you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper? What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue? Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. It's called Four River. Why so cliche? It's a placeholder. The soundtrack is phenomenal. Who is this Anya they were talking about? She's so important. Shouldn't we have seen, you, seen her in his late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. What? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride and look around yourself? I'm gonna stay and explore. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. <clears throat> Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? Sorry, this is like hurting my ear. I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. Well, good for you. 
That would be amazing, wouldn't it? If you can record songs from your memory. Some of them would probably sound like shit if you were to listen to them in, like, waking life, but... You could experience the feeling that you felt when you were listening to it in your dreams. That'd be amazing. No, Paper Rabbit. Emperor's New Clothes. Still. Last bottle of pickled olives. Ugh. Someone really likes these. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. This game breaks my heart. It just, oh, it's such a good game. Such a sad story. Cause in the end, like, what's the point of changing your memories? I know you regret everything, but you are who you are because of these memories. All the things that happen to you, even all the shittiest ones, like getting someone being sick in your family and you losing them and it's just seriously what's the point all right our deal is four previous run, I managed to get up to like 16 moves in one. Ugh. Damn! So close! Ugh! Okay. Finally! Yeah. Up. Huh. Look what we have here. really big house. It's a really big house. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. Thanks, Neil. You don't even know. You don't, you don't even know. They called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? Ugh. I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... I can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. I can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I really don't think... If I look at her sprite here... If I look at Isabel's sprite right here, I don't think Johnny can remember... What she looks like. And even in the previous memory, Nick... Nicholas, like, his his sprite was a little bit less blurred out, but I don't think he can remember. Just really sad. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... I don't know how much this place means to her. God, I feel like crying. Oh, God, this game is so sad. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. 
are you going to do now? I am going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. Aw oh, shit, I'm gonna cry. Ah, that's so sad, because if you think about it, in the end, does it really matter what you, what you want? If someone wants to die, shouldn't that be their choice? It's their body, it's their life. Like... Boop. 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 Okay, I'll get it this time. I'll get it this time. Okay. I'm gonna get it. A deal. Okay, hmm. Oh no, I got it. Yeah. Ha ha ha! Yeah! I did it! I did it! I ain't so smart! Woohoo! God, Neil, your face is in my face. It's inappropriate. We are in a place of work. Someone else's memories, don't taint it. Ooh, freaky music. Okay, happy and music. Good, good. But yeah, their sprites are all staticky. And then these guys are just completely shadowed out because that they're not even important. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, yeah, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We have to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all the years all those years ago, didn't you? It's not all that special about it. It's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river, still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talkative at home and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> So I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, freaky music. Why is the music freaky? Why is it freaky all of a sudden? Oh, hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. Is the music all freaky? How did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Ha! <laughs> I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. 
She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. I'm pretty sure you just heard the bus outside. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, she said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. Freaky music! I hope it stops soon! Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Alright. Hurry up already, I don't want to be stuck here. Alright. Freaky music. Hey there, can I get you anything? Hey yo, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Check. Um, sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resented. Hey there, can I get you anything? Hello, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here are your pickled olives. Thanks, bruh. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. I'll loosen up. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I guess I talked to him. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation now! Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Ha ha ha! Oh, oh. You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could ugh, find some things to be disgusting. Take your time, we've got two bottles left. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. Almost there. And you know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Yeah, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord! How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Alright, how we doing? How we doing there? Wait, don't you dare! Don't worry, sheesh! See, I'm doing it by the books. Hulk Smash! Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. Prepare. Okay, what are we looking at here? A deal is four, huh? 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 
Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so smart. Yes! Oh my god, I actually did not expect to get that. Okay, activate. Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh, we're younger now. Sweet stash, bro. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I want to visit places like this. Cracky nutcrackers! You are an Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. All my words are getting jumbled. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear to this place. Ava, what the blue? Wuss. That's me. Where did Neil even fall to? Oh, there he is. It's like, did he fall into the water? Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure we've been able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. Words to live by. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. Let's move on. That is very important. Doesn't matter how sad you are in the moment, because you will get over it. And it's like, it doesn't matter. You've had good moments. That's gonna lead up to something good. That has to lead up to something good. You just have to keep fighting for it, you know? I went through a lot of shit last year. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then, that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway, she's not our client. Anya. But yeah, I went through, as I was saying, I went through a lot of, um... No, oh, it's them locking up. Through a lot of shit last year, you know? And I went through months and months of just sitting and being sad, and then I, it clicked in me after so long. What the fuck was the point of just being sad? There's no point. There is no point in staying sad other than being sad. So I got up and I was like, fuck it. Being sad is the most tiring thing. Every day, just like waking up was just, was exhausting. What was the point of being sad all the time? There was none. And now I'm doing this and I'm so happy that I'm doing this. It's small and it's still growing, but I'm doing something and it's making me happy and I'm rambling right now, but it's because this is the best thing that's happened to me in the past year and a half, and I'm so glad I found it. 
All right, I'm gonna try to solve this puzzle now. I'm rambling. All right, ideal is five. Four. Five. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Woohoo! Yay! Ah, yeah. I am so good at games. River. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm pretty busy. I have to get editing. I'm editing this and another video. I'm editing edit, blah, blah, blah. editing Undertale right before this. So that's gonna take me a lot of time because rendering takes a long time. So I'm gonna cut this episode off here. Sorry, cliffhanger. I'm right in the middle of a memory. But it gets better. <laughs> game gets so good. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Sprouts. actually forgot why I was doing this or I wasn't feeling as much joy with the project but I don't know I guess just talking about it reignited my love and passion for this channel so thank god thank god I found this because I haven't been this happy in a really long time <laughs>